All right, so whenever you're ready, you can go ahead. What's your name? Where you from? Where you live at now? My name is Charles. Mm -hmm. I'm from New, uh, New Jersey originally. Oh, well, you can roll your Been here back. in Tampa since 2000. And, um, um, what made you come from New Jersey to Tampa? Um, things wasn't going right for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I was homeless. I best I got in contact with a best friend of mine, and he uh, sent me a round trip ticket to uh, Tampa, Florida. Uh, he gave me a job, and uh, I mean, things been hard since because of choice of lifestyle. You know, what do you mean by that? Um, you know, just not not working, and, you know. Uh, oh man. Yeah. You know, not being responsible. Yeah. Yeah. So now you live in the street life. Uh, what do you do to kind of keep your time? You know, like, what do you do to pass time? Panhandle, make money, uh, smoke molly, because it, it, it relaxes me, keep me calm. When you start smoking molly? Three months ago. Oh, for real? Yes. Yeah. Uh, friends, you know, you know, they smoke it, so I decided I wanted to try it. So with that, before the Molly, did you try any other drugs? Crack, but I quit that four years ago. Why? Because uh, I started uh, smoking ice cream. Meth. Oh, yeah, it, so you, yeah, you lacing me up right now. You letting me know, but I'm, I get it, I get it. So you were like, tell me what was the difference between the meth and the crack? Like, what made you transition? You know, what was the difference? Crack had me spending every penny mm. that I made. Uh, meth. I could spend maybe ten dollars in the last two or three days. Mm. I can go. I can go to sleep with money in my pocket and wake up with money, money in my pocket. Gotcha. Better financial decision too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now here. you're not. The meth is gone, and you just on the mall. No. Every now and then I do the meth. Gotcha. Gotcha. So how is it out here, like surviving while trying to keep up with your habit? Is that hard, or is, is it like peaches and cream out here? To me, it's peaches and cream. For real? Yes. Why you say that? Tell somebody, you know, like be real with it. Because, I mean, the early bird gets the early the early bird gets the early worm. I, get, I wake up early, go out there, pay handle, you know what I'm saying? Make money, and you know. I don't, there's a certain amount of money, I, I, a certain goal, amount of money that I, I make, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The way I can just sit down and, and just chill for the rest of the day and night. Right. Is this yours? No, no okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, gotcha. Now, when you um, handle, how much money do you think you make on a good day? A good day? $300. 300 $300. I'm going to come out there and work with you, dog. Because at this point, y'all making more money than me. And I'm, hey, I'm trying to go hard here. So when you get all this money, you know, where is that? Go? Does most of that go towards your habit or does most of it go towards a room? What are you, you know, spending it on? Sometimes a room, but uh, food, to eat, uh, you know, something to drink. Necessities, yes. like that. So, if somebody were to help you, or if you know somebody was looking at this and they could help you, what would be something they could help you with? You know, um, room and board, house. Elaborate a little bit because that uh, sounds good, but yeah, you know what's going on. Um, <laughs> So you, you made $300 a day panhandling? Yes, sir. So that's about, even on Saturdays and Sundays? Yes, really Sundays is the best day I make the most, yeah. That's Sundays. about nine bands on the other So that's like um, $21 a week? Yes, sir. So 
$2,100 a week, that's a substantial amount of income. So how can you be homeless with that type of income? Because the average person working not making that type of money. Because I choose to live on the streets and not pay rent. Okay, okay. So it's just a choice for you right now. Yes. Now, what's some of the craziest stuff you've seen people do on Nebraska to survive? <laughs> I know your eyes don't see it a lot. Well, um, prostitution. Elaborate, because some people might um, not know what you talk about, like. To uh, sell their body for money. That's some of the crazy shit you see. <laughs> yeah. For real? Is it, is it a lot of like, is it dangerous for somebody to be out here on a regular basis? It's always dangerous. Mm -hmm. Always. You can just be walking down the sidewalk and the car will swerve over and hit you. That's the brains right there. What's the difference between here and New Jersey? New Jersey is a more faster pace. You know, Florida's more slower, but, you know, everybody, each state got their own way of, of doing things. Right. You know? So do you do you decide do you think in the future you plan on getting a house or a home or you just gonna continue to stay out here? No. Make, making that twenty one hundred dollars a week, that's that's a lot of money. No, I plan to uh, get a house or uh, place oh, to oh. stay. How would you introduce the Molly? Stay from friends, whether from a female or a male friend or what? Um male friend. Male friends. What's the difference in the high between the Molly and the male? Similar, but the the meth it makes you feel good. <laughs> the meth is a lot better than the uh, Molly. Uh, <laughs> so do the meth do, when you when you use meth? Do you smoke the meth or do you shoot the meth? No, I smoke the meth. Smoke the meth. Yes. That's a common practice out here. Ain't too many people shooting drugs out here. There's a lot of people shoot drugs out here. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Any, any advice you want to get anybody that may be young, 